Right, so this is uh, Griffiths E and M um, problem one point two. Is the cross product associative? So does a cross B cross C with the parentheses here? So doing this cross product first equal a cross B. So doing this one first, then cross C, like that. Is this statement true? And Griffiths gives us a little bit of a hint. Um, he says, uh, if it's not true, provide a counterexample. The simpler, the better. So, well, hey, um, let's do a really simple counterexample and just make two of these things uh, the same vector. So say we were to just have Just draw a vector x in the x direction and a vector y in the y direction. Um, let's see, how should we write this? Um, so if we, so let's look at this side first and do the the uh, the first two, um, the the first cross product before the second one. So um, if I say um, x cross y, and then I'm going to cross that with y, all right, well, x cross y is some vector out in the z direction, which I'll just call z, all right? All right, so this is equal to um, z cross y, like that. All right, now if we take a z cross y, we get a negative x. I mean, I, I guess you could just call these all the unit vectors, um, orthonormal, orthonormal basis set or something like that. Um, Just as a just as an example, all right. So if we do it that way, we get a minus x. So you know, just something. Call it minus x like that. Um, all right. Well, if we do it the other way, which we put the parentheses right here, we should get zero because a vector crossed with itself zero so the null vector right x cross zero equals zero so this is not equal to that and this is a simple counterexample um, showing that um, showing that we do not have this this property this associative property right here